couple of weeks since the new IKEA catalog, ar catalog arrived, um, but I kept it until this Saturday, until today, anyway, uh, to enjoy it with you. I'm looking for smart solutions to organize my yarns and look what I found on the catalog. This uh, the series of packs uh, bags for organizing stuff and I guess I could crochet something like that. It's very easy. Oh. I'm in a fall mood lately, autumn mood, and I had also my birthday a couple of weeks ago. I didn't do something special. Um, I might celebrate them uh, together with my husband's uh, birthday, uh, which are on Halloween. <laughs> so. <laughs> He could uh, be a Halloween birthday, uh, something, whatever, not a party, but something, maybe a cake, some candles, and that's all. Uh, this is uh, a sweater, a blouse that I'm knitting, um, slowly, I guess. Uh, the frustrating thing is that I don't buy the yarn uh, at once uh, because I don't know exactly how much uh, yarn it will take me. Uh, so it's time I go to the store to buy uh, new yarn. I can't find the same uh, uh, color. Uh, the same shade of color and it's funny well maybe um, it's for good it's uh, I make I try to make it uh, uh, to look like uh, I did it like this on purpose uh, to change the shades to, during uh, the knitting process and well I I finished the main body of uh, of the sweater of the blouse, and well, I, do, I haven't decided yet how long I want it to make it, uh, and how I will finish uh, the um, the neck. Uh, and this is always neck and leaves of the oh, more dif most difficult parts for me. And I'm a little bit nervous, but this is the main the main body. Oh, it's very oh cozy. I like it. 
I like it. Also, uh, afterwards I want to need um, a sweater on this color, pumpkin orange. Uh, oh, love it. The funny thing, let me show you, is that uh, my needles uh, wasn't on the right size and I make an adaptation, an adjustment uh, with, uh, with the glue. I make it, I made them thicker. I guess I have damaged them and I have to buy new ones but I need to buy generally more needles of, uh, of a variety of sizes for more projects and above apart from that this is the the new book I'm reading uh, it's the robe you can you see here the Greek translation but it's the it's the classic one uh, of Douglas the robe um, about you know the 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 story about the ro the robe of uh, Jesus that uh, Romans played on uh, dice. Uh, I I love the classic movie. It's one of my favorites of uh, Cinema Scope, and I had this book on my library, on my okay, on my collection. My mother read it and said that is fantastic and I started it. Uh, it's, I must say that it's an um, easy reading one. Uh, it flows and it keeps you nice company. Um, uh, it's uh, it's well written, a nice story, and it gives uh, much inf historical information and cultural inf information about the Mediterranean uh, countries of that uh, period of time. So it has, it's very interesting uh, f uh, from many. Um, okay. Very, very interesting. Sorry for my English. Well, uh, I take my, uh, I take a slow pace, and uh, I don't know when I'm going to finish it, because uh, lately I need to read something horror also, and I may leave it at the moment but okay that's it I decided to separate the back and the front so um, I, I, I do this I don't know how to explain to you I I will state the loops I want to separate in order to work on the one side.
And now that I separated the two sides, I can work easily on each side at the time. <laughs> 